with the previous version, was Lament of Innocence. Symphony of the Night was about an action RPG, but with Lament of Innocence, we went in the direction of it turning into an action game. Probably went too much in that direction, so in that, with Curse of Darkness, we want to bring in more of the action, adventure, RPG elements, and bring it back towards the Symphony of the Night game system. And certainly one of the biggest changes from the previous version was the introduction of the innocent devils. Now you have a partner to battle with through this world. And those innocent devils will be uh, useful to you in battles as well as a mode of transportation to get through obstacles in the game. Certainly another uh, big departure for Castlevania Lament of Innocence is that the hero himself isn't a Belmont. And since he's not a Belmont, not limited to a whip, so he can use lots of different weapons. So my innocent devils, there's certainly se several different types of innocent devils that we've built with you throughout the course of the game. I mean, some that we've shown you today, the golem type, which is a power type, where the golem type, while certainly effective in battle, will also be able to open doors that you wouldn't be able to by your, with the strength of just a normal human. You saw the bird type that lets you glide across chasms or reach new areas where you couldn't be able to jump yourself. There will be other innocent devils that will add to your abilities or add to the ways that you can traverse obstacles, but we'll keep that a secret for now. So with the innocent devils, there's three basic commands you can give to the innocent devils. One of them is just auto, where you let the innocent devil decide what it wants to do and how it wants to attack and defend itself. Another command that you can give is support, where what this is, is the innocent devil fights around you and supports the actions that you're trying to pull off. And finally, there's one more command called self-defense for, for the innocent devil itself to just defend itself and not do any other actions. And with just those three basic commands given to the innocent devils, we're trying to figure out variations and patterns of what will work effectively when and where which we want the player to discover and find out what suits their playstyle. So for example, in the self-defense mode, with a power type, golden type, it's certainly going to uh, defend itself and not take any damage from attacks, but it could also be used as a shield that you can hide behind to get away from wide-reaching attacks of some of the enemies. There's actually two patterns to that. The innocent devils, yes, by leveling up, they may learn new abilities, but the other part of it is that the innocent devils themselves evolve, so it may evolve to a new type. And at the point that it evolves to a new type, it may unlock a new set of moves or special abilities. How they actually evolve, we're not going to reveal at this point, but yes, at this point, there is going to be steps in the evolution where they can go down a different path or di and become another type. And the magic part of I me, mean, the sub-weapon part of it, he doesn't have those innate abilities, but by using the innocent devils themselves, he can have magic effects. But does that mean to say that Hector himself doesn't fight and just lets the innocent devils do that, do all the fighting? No, that's certainly not the case. Which is why we've got a lot of different weapons for Hector to be able to use and discover throughout the course of the game. If you can watch the video later on, you'll discover that you know, Hector is just as acrobatic, if not more so, than Liam Belmont from Lament of Innocence, where he's going to use the dashes, he's going to use the quick steps and uh, twirls to get dodge out of attack harm's way. It's especially the adventure elements that will be strengthened in the game. Think of like Symphony of the Night, by gaining a new relic, you could now go into a new area of the map. That's what the Innocent Devils will do for you. When you gain a new Innocent Devil, or the Innocent Devil develops a new ability, you may uh, unlock a different part of the map that you previously couldn't get to. So in that, the adventuring comes in of unlocking your map and how far you can get around in the map now. One of the things that we certainly think is the Castlevania came and in that the controls themselves will be very familiar to them. It will be something that they've well, well known to them if they've played the Castlevania plays and not to say that's not going to stop them. Other people from joining the Castlevania world, but should be familiar to the people who have played it before. However, in that, with the addition of the Innocent Devils, it now allows for a greater depth of gameplay and those combinations that you work with the Innocent Devils. So that should be new to everybody.